The third is gas mileage standards, which would make cars more efficient for everyone. And then what you're referring to here is changes over time to our energy and where we get our energy. So the way I think you do this is you put a tax on carbon. It doesn't have to be a tax. You could do it with a renewable electricity standard. But in any case, you are creating economic incentives for new energy uh, to replace old energy. And while you're doing it, you are never going to be able to pass it or get it done if you don't get it what you just asked about. Uh, because that money that you're going to bring in, and it will be significant, has to first of all go back to people for their heating and their cooling bills, airtight go back to them, or we're not going to be able to pass it, and it'll be bad public policy. And then secondly, we have to create jobs in areas where they're going to see change. And I have said many times I see natural gas as a transitional fuel um, and that we need to uh, make sure as we go to more carbon neutral energy situation uh, that we do it in a smart way.